Welcome to the demo of securing GraphQL APIs with F5 Nginx AppProtect WAF. Most organizations on an average have 40% of their app portfolio consisting of modern apps that are made up of hundreds of microservices that communicate with APIs. Today, API requests comprise 83% of all internet traffic, making them one of the fastest growing targets for attackers to exploit. APIs are at core of digital businesses and must be protected as part of your overall application security strategy. GraphQL is a modern HTTP2 API protocol that is growing in popularity as an alternative to REST APIs. This demo will show you how FI Nginx AppProtect WAF can provide comprehensive protection for your modern applications using GraphQL APIs. So let's look at the basic configuration needed to have Nginx AppProtect WAF protect a GraphQL API. On a high level, we will have to update two places, the Nginx configuration and the AppProtect policy file, which it references. So let's create a policy file and name it graphqlbasic.json. This GraphQL policy must include the policy name and the GraphQL URL with associated default profile in it. We need to now reference this policy in the Nginx configuration as shown here. Unlike REST, where web resources are identified by multiple URLs, GraphQL server operates on a single URL endpoint, usually slash GraphQL. All GraphQL requests for a given service should be directed to this endpoint. For more advanced configuration and declarative policies, you can visit docs.nginx.com. With basic configurations in place, let's run an Nginx AppProtect WAF demo set up with GraphQL. Let's take a look at the high-level setup here. While Nginx can be set up in multiple ways, for this demo, we will set it up as a reverse proxy and we will use GraphQL as a query language for the APIs. For a more complex architecture with multiple microservices, Nginx can also be set up as an API gateway. So we have the index.js file, which contains a simple code. A hello query request with language as an input parameter returns a hello world response in language requested. Now let's run this application. Now that the server is running, let's open up another tab and let's query with language set as English. So with this, we get a response of hello world for a hello request. Let's consider another case where a query is malformed. Here we can see that the query was blocked and a support ID is provided. Now let's consider another case where an attacker is trying to perform an SQL injection. In both the above cases as seen, Nginx AppProtect WAF will block this attack and return a support ID. By checking the last two security logs, we can see the violation and context of violation for both these requests. In the first request, we can see that the attack type detected is GraphQL parser attack, and the violation is malformed GraphQL violation. Similarly, if we look at um, the last two security logs and check for SQL. In the last log, we can see um, SQL injection as an attack being detected. This now concludes our demo. Thank you.